Uh, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I do apologize. Uh, welcome to our uh, live uh, daily market outlook for Thursday, 6th of uh, September 2012. Uh, quite busy day ahead of us, uh, though yesterday's uh, leak of the bond plan uh, uh, from ECB that was uh, uh, released by Bloomberg, uh, basically still the ECB's uh, today's uh, show. As uh, the ECB monetary policy decision uh, has been uh, relega relegated uh, to secondary position as the surprise uh, factor of an imminent uh, bond buy plan is now out of the way after a set uh, leaked report from Bloomberg unveiled the central bank is indeed gearing up uh, to start buying bonds of uh, maturities less than three years with the powerful unlimited wording uh, being used. An interesting uh, kicker coming out of the leaked report was the intention to sterilize the uh, bond, bond uh, purchases uh, through removing uh, from the system an amount equal to the money the ECB spends, uh, therefore uh, minimizing any impact uh, on the money supply. Another point uh, to take uh, is the emphasis uh, to not being specific uh, on any yield uh, ceiling while uh, potentially se selling bonds if uh, conditions uh, not met. <clears throat> from today's uh, meeting, uh, so we have already the uh, release approximately what is uh, likely uh, going to be done and in light uh, that the unorthodox uh, policy speculations has been revealed although not uh, officialized it's uh, safe to assume that uh, main focus although not expected uh, to have too heavy of an impact uh, in the euro will be on Draghi's accompanying uh, policy statement uh, to help ease uh, uh, pressure on the European uh, peripheries which may include uh, further rate cuts uh, or the prospects uh, for it. Uh, majority of forecasts uh, or forecasters uh, uh, see the cut uh, of uh, its uh, ECBC refinancing rates uh, by uh, 25 uh, basis points uh, to 0.5 percent after its uh, policies uh, meeting, uh, while uh, the other uh, uh, smaller part still sees the rates uh, held at. Uh, a point, <clears throat> pardon, uh, 75 percent. As uh, said, uh, the yesterday's release uh, and the price move have already been uh, uh, quite priced in uh, the markets. Uh, I would say that uh, less expectations of some more spectacular movements uh, could be seen, uh, with the main focus now turning towards the tomorrow's U.S. Uh, non-farm uh, payrolls data that are, according to the forca forecast, uh, expected uh, to come in the uh, quite uh, weak mode. Uh, tomorrow's uh, forecast uh, shows uh, 136,000, if I'm not uh, mistaken, 138, uh, pardon, 125,000 uh, uh, new jobs uh, compared to 163,000 of the previous uh, month release. Uh, that uh, would uh, be another uh, good reason for uh, uh, Fed and uh, Mr. Bernanke to start uh, thinking again about. Uh, uh, accelerating their uh, Q3 action in order to uh, boost the U.S. economy. A set uh, quite busy day today with the full calendar uh, as usually on uh, Thursday. Uh, some uh, data already released from Australia showing that uh, employment uh, rate uh, improved, uh, unemployment rate, pardon, un improved to 5.10 percent compared to 5.2 percent in uh, July and the forecasted 5.3 uh, percent. Uh, while unemployment uh, unemployment uh, changed uh, dipped uh, by minus uh, 8.8 thousand uh, compared to uh, plus 5.1 thousand uh, uh, new jobs uh, created uh, pardon the forecasted and uh, 14 thousand new jobs created in the month of uh, July. Uh, Europe starts at uh, nine o'clock GMT with the eurozone's uh, second quarter GDP that is uh, according to the forecast. Uh, not expected to show any change, minus 0.2% is today's uh, forecast, uh, uh, followed by the Germany factory orders uh, for July at uh, 10 o'clock, uh, uh, with improvement uh, growth by 0.3% compared to contraction of minus 1.7% seen in the month of uh, June. The first uh, significant uh, and central bank release is uh, at 11 o'clock uh, GMT, uh, Bank of England MPC is uh, due to release uh, their uh, official uh, bank rate, uh, which uh, according to the forecast is expected to stay unchanged at 2.5 percent, as well as uh, asset purchase facility that uh, forecasted uh, unchanged at 375 billion 
British pounds. Uh, the ECB follows uh, 45 minutes later at 11.45 uh, with the as set uh, a narrow majority still forecasting a, a cut of the rate by 25 basis points, 2.5% uh, compared to previous, uh, compared to current 0.75% uh, 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 rate, uh, with the more focus again uh, seen on the speech of uh, Mario Draghi that uh, will un unveil the uh, monetary policy of the U uh, European Central Bank at 12.15. It's the first indicator for uh, US non -farm, tomorrow's US non-farm payrolls, uh, uh, ADP non-farm uh, employment uh, change for August is uh, forecasted uh, lower again, uh, 141,000 compared to 100 and. Uh, uh, 63,000. Uh, this is the first indicator, and of course, with the forecast previously mentioned for the non-farm payrolls uh, due tomorrow, showing again uh, uh, weak uh, jobs data in the uh, month of uh, August. ECB press conference uh, starts at 12.30, and basically this is what we said, that the focus uh, will be on the comments of uh, ECB President Mario Draghi and uh, uh, what he will say about uh, further steps uh, that are mainly unveiled, uh, of course not uh, certified and confirmed, uh, but uh, yesterday's uh, leak of the information uh, shows approximately what uh, the ECB is uh, after in the near uh, term. Uh, US uh, weekly jobless claims are due at the same time at 12.30, uh, slight uh, uh, decrease, uh, 369,000 uh, uh, new, uh, new, new claims uh, has been filled in the past week. Uh, compared to 374,000 in the previous uh, week release at 1,400 uh, GMT's uh, US ISM and uh, non-manufacturing uh, PMI for August. Uh, also expected uh, to stay unchanged at 52.8 uh, 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 and the US uh, crude oil inventories uh, that are due at uh, 1,500 GMT moved uh, for today comp uh, due to holiday uh, Labor Day holiday in the uh, United uh, States, usually when there is a holiday then uh, the, the all releases are uh, moved uh, one hour, uh, one day uh, further and of course uh, half an hour later uh, release uh, from uh, regular uh, 1430 is at uh, 14, uh, 15, uh, zero, zero with the crude oil, uh, we don't have a forecast for the inventory, it's uh, 3.8 million uh, was the build of uh, the last uh, uh, week and that was uh, basically all from uh, today's uh, calendar. Uh, we're going to move now to the uh, currencies and commodities and our technical uh, outlook to see what uh, we should expect in today's uh, price action as the fundamentals and uh, news that were the main drivers of the markets uh, yesterday are still heavily in playing due to today's uh, full calendar and a number of important uh, releases, uh, what uh, we'll see, what impact uh, uh, it could have in the markets. As said yesterday, this uh, leak of uh, ECB uh, data for uh, today has had a good impact on Europe, pushing it uh, uh, from its uh, lower uh, range boundaries uh, after hitting 125 level exactly, uh, regaining levels at uh, 126.00. Uh, 126.29 was seen so far, this is uh, this morning's uh, high, uh, still short of a uh, tough barrier at uh, 126.36, uh, 30, uh, 31st of August uh, uh, peak and again uh, today's uh, uh, strong rally again uh, uh, fell short of uh, this level, 126.29 seen ahead of current uh, easing but uh, overall the uh, picture is still um, uh, keeping the upside favored, although we have to point that uh, hourly studies are now uh, sideways uh, toward and uh, slightly turning towards the downside that it uh, could uh, be signal for further uh, consolidation by basically further congestion under uh, 126 uh, 36 uh, barrier a four hour chart uh, is holding uh, I would say more positive tone but still uh, uh, upside remains uh, limited as this congestion continues. Uh, uh, to move the price uh, sideways limited by 126.36 on the upside and 125.00 uh, on the downside. A uh, positive tone dominates on the daily chart and still sees the upside uh, favored as the Bollingers are uh, widening again. Uh, it's uh, five weeks rally from uh, 120.42 looks for a break above uh, this initial uh, barrier in order to uh, resume uh, higher with the 126.00. Uh, 
uh, 80-90 zone as seen uh, first ahead of 12700 as uh, around figure resistance and basically our next upside the target immediate uh, support uh, lies near term support lies at uh, 12590 this is overnight uh, low uh, reinforced by ascending at 25 20 days exponential moving average that is uh, maintaining the recent uh, uh, price action that crossed also above the 55 days one uh, while loss of uh, 125 50 60 zone could be quite risky as it would sideline again the uh, hopes of a uh, fresh attack uh, at the upper uh, boundaries and keep the pair within the range a uh, main risk is uh, seen on loss of uh, 125 and then uh, uh, 124 86 and the uh, 124 uh, 64 lows they uh, basically these are the uh, floor levels of the current uh, congestion and the loss of uh, especially the 12464 uh, is to uh, confirm the f formation of the uh, near term uh, top and uh, allow for some uh, stronger uh, retracement of uh, uh, five weeks rally from uh, uh, from the latest part and the latest rally from uh, 12254 mid august uh, low that peaked so far at uh, 120 uh, 636 uh, around 38.2 percent retracement is the I would say the key support uh, zone break of which uh, could be quite uh, bearish in the near term on the upside I said uh, clear of clearance of uh, 126 36 opens uh, 127 as the next uh, upside the uh, target and psychological uh, barrier the British pound also got uh, boosted yesterday <clears throat> Uh, after uh, touching uh, 128.25 trend line support and uh, bouncing higher, a brief break above uh, previous high at 115.9.11. Uh, ele Let's just make sure 159.11 cor correct. Uh, it resulted in a fresh uh, three and a half month high at uh, 159.33, but uh, a pair still unable to uh, sustain gains above this level, returning down to 59 zone where it got congested during the overnight uh, session uh, hovering just above uh, 20 days exponentially moving average yesterday's close around uh, 159 that uh, we mentioned in yesterday's written analysis uh, required uh, to be above 159 to keep the uh, immediate bulls in place is uh, potential for further extension higher although the hourly studies are now in a sideways to downward uh, movements uh, and uh, see possible hesitation again at uh, this uh, strong uh, barrier. Uh, for our chart studies, although in the positive territory, again, are uh, uh, more in the sideways uh, mode, uh, uh, showing a uh, no clear direction at uh, this point. Uh, the main risk will be seen on, will be seen on loss of uh, 158.50 and the 158.35, that is trend line support, that will uh, uh, see the, the delay in current uh, rally and allow for a deeper reversal uh, with the key supports at uh, 157.70 and uh, 157.50 especially the later one seen as a break point uh, uh, that will increase risk of uh, double top uh, basically it will signal the double top and the uh, possible uh, stronger uh, reversal uh, conversely the break above uh, 157 for pardon 159.33 as the pair uh, uh, briefly broke above 61.8% uh, retracement of the larger 163 to 152.67 down move uh, is a signal for a possible extension towards uh, next barrier and psychological resistance at uh, 160.00. <clears throat> Dollar yen uh, is uh, treading water within uh, uh, 15 range, uh, 15 pips uh, range uh, following uh, yesterday's uh, dip to 78.30 zone where it found good support. Uh, and uh, quite uh, neutral sideways movements are seen in the near term as uh, no uh, indication in the uh, one and four hour uh, chart uh, studies uh, showing any movements and uh, also the daily ones in a rather uh, negative uh, neutral to negative uh, mode outside this point any 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 uh, side, any more news or uh, fundamentals uh, could be a spark for uh, some uh, a stronger action uh, break above uh, either side of the current uh, range on the narrower 17830 and 7846 uh, or 7853 uh, uh, would be the first signal but uh, basically uh, larger uh, pictures uh, uh, limits at uh, 7800 and 7880 uh, would give us more clear picture about uh, near term uh, direction for dollar yen as said, uh, still the downside remain, uh, remains slightly more uh, f favored at uh, this uh, point as long as, uh, as 7860 and 7880, the recent uh, range top, uh, 
uh, key stays intact on the downside of course the base and strong support at 7800 uh, uh, loss of uh, offers a good support and the a loss of which uh, would be signal for a further extension of the larger down move from a uh, yearly peak at 84.17 and possible test of uh, a low and the key uh, support at 77.65 low of 1st of uh, June 2012. <clears throat> Uh, it seems that we have a small technical problem okay and now we are back the dollar Swiss is uh, again came under pressure following a bounce of uh, recent low at uh, 9500 that uh, uh, stalled ahead of uh, our initial uh, barriers 9615 uh, and 9635 where is also the main uh, bear trend line drawn of uh, recent peak at uh, 9970 currently standing at uh, uh, 96 uh, 35 approximately and uh, holding uh, below these levels uh, keeps the immediate uh, focus towards the downside the overnight uh, movement uh, were entrenched within the narrow range after uh, hitting 95 uh, 28 with upside being uh, uh, capped at uh, 95 65 rather neutral uh, uh, tone seen on the one hour uh, uh, chart while uh, four hour once is still uh, the indicators are still uh, aiming uh, towards the upside but uh, uh, any any res any re rejection uh, under uh, 9600 and the recent uh, yesterday's high 9606 uh, would be just uh, uh, seen as a corrective bounce on the downside the uh, near term trend line uh, support at 9520 approximately uh, low of uh, yesterday and the uh, 9500 and strong support uh, is is still i would say still uh, more in focus as uh, larger picture shows uh, an abstracted downtrend from uh, 9970 uh, as uh, uh, 20 days moving average is now attempting uh, to break below 90 days one uh, that will put additional pressure on the pair and sees uh, more risk uh, towards the downside with break of uh, 9500 uh, zero, zero base to open uh, uh, 9461 uh, 9420 and very significant uh, 9400 uh, zero, zero zone 61.8% uh, uh, percent retracement and uh, 200 days uh, moving average And the gold uh, finally <clears throat> moves, uh, pardon, moves above 1700 uh, barrier, our initial uh, target following a couple of days uh, a narrow consolidation uh, within uh, 1687 and uh, 1698, uh, a fresh rally seen uh, in the late hours of Asian session and early hours of uh, European session this morning are now opening way for a further extension of uh, gold uh, rally from a uh, <clears throat> a recent uh, low at 1590 this is the uh, base of the recent uh, leg that started in mid-August and uh, now break above uh, 1700 the level sees more prospect uh, for further uh, extension higher and further uh, recovery a uh, break above uh, this level opens uh, 1716 uh, high of uh, pardon 1716 high of uh, that 12 of uh, uh, 12th of March 2012 and uh, 1725 uh, 1st of uh, March they are seen as our next uh, targets and static resistance although the overextended uh, conditions on the daily chart uh, uh, do not uh, rule out uh, some corrective action preceding a fresh rally but so far quite uh, a positive uh, tone uh, seen on the na narrow uh, lower time frames uh, see more potential towards the downside initial upside pardon Initial uh, support is at uh, 1687 recent uh, range uh, floor ahead of uh, previous high at 1677 uh, peak of uh, 27th of uh, August and 1664 the trend line uh, support any reversal uh, should occur ideally around uh, 1680 uh, to not to dent any of the uh, crucial supports in order to keep the upside in uh, focus and finally the crude oil and again some uh, ground following uh, yesterday's dip to 94.25 uh, but uh, still uh, descending a uh, mode of recent peak at 98.27 uh, uh, with the rather neutral uh, uh, tone seen on the four-hour chart as the pair is, as the price is currently 
uh, moving within uh, 93, 94 and then 97.35 range requires basically break above uh, 97.35 on the upside to uh, resume recovery and refocus basically 98 and then 98.27 uh, while on the downside uh, immediate uh, support, uh, good support stands at uh, 95.70 zone. This is the recent uh, range uh, floor reinforced by a uh, bullish crossover of uh, 20 over 55 days exponential moving average uh, with the studies in the quite uh, positive uh, uh, shape uh, seeing a more potential towards the upside and uh, with the Fibonacci levels uh, we are just uh, at, at, uh, approaching the 61.8 percent retracement that is at 96.17 that has already been uh, briefly dented uh, by yesterday's break to 96.24 a uh, break here I would say is uh, to Confirm. This is also the break point as uh, we have the previous uh, lows at uh, approximately 96 uh, uh, zero, zero. So break above uh, these levels is to uh, refocus our next uh, upside uh, target at uh, 97.35. Oh, on the downside, I said immediate uh, support at uh, 95.74, and then uh, we have the uh, 95 level as a round figure. Uh, a support loss of which uh, would uh, then uh, focus near their focus towards the downside uh, with 94. Uh, 25 and then uh, 93.94 as uh, seen uh, as a target in case of break. Uh, basically, on the daily chart, uh, the gold, uh, the oil price is currently congested uh, within uh, 94 and the uh, 98 uh, range. Uh, loss of uh, 200 days uh, moving average that uh, showed the two falls uh, breaks uh, sees uh, more risk uh, of uh, further. Uh, congestion and further sideways uh, movements uh, with the studies uh, started to pointing lower that uh, could be a signal for some uh, stronger corrective uh, action of the larger uh, up move from uh, 9727 that peaked at uh, 9827 uh, at this point I would say the loss of uh, 9320 uh, 9300 zone uh, would be quite risky but uh, any any reversal above these levels is uh, seen as uh, uh, further uh, as seen as a corrective and they basically break above the congestion uh, peaks at uh, 98, 9827 is uh, required to refocus our uh, short term target at, at $100 uh, per barrel. Uh, that was all for today from us. Uh, since uh, no questions, uh, I can see no questions uh, uh, raised uh, for today's session. I would like uh, to wish you a nice day and uh, very successful uh, trading. Of course, keep an eye on today's uh, releases as uh, we might see quite uh, uh, busy markets. Uh, we're back uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, it will be Friday, last uh, uh, day of the week and the first Friday of the month, of course, with the U.S. Uh, non farm payrolls data due to be released. So another uh, busy day. We expect uh, to see you again uh, with us uh, tomorrow, 7 o'clock uh, GMT, 10 o'clock uh, local Cyprus time. Good luck.